We're joined now by the number three featherweight kickboxer who some analysts actually rank higher than Giorgio Petrosian and Superbon in some lists. Mara is back in action and will be one of eight participants in the prestigious One Featherweight Kickboxing World Grand Prix, which was designed to determine the next challenger to the throne. Mara, great to see you. You fought against some of the very best kickboxers in the world. Now you're challenging an icon and a legend in Andy Sauer. How pleased are you to be sharing a ring with such an elite striker like him in one championship? Yeah, it's a great uh, honor to fight against uh, Andy Sauer. Uh, I see many fights of him when I was a child also. I followed him and now standing against him to fight with him. So it's, yeah, it's an honor to fight against him, but uh, it's a fight. Now it's my time. Marat, there are six other world-class competitors in the Grand Prix. All of them are big names. And then there's also a familiar face in Sidichai. How much did you learn from competing against a fighter like him? And, and did all those experiences in the ring with him, losses and, and victory as well, did that uh, help you evolve as a fighter and then eventually going on to defeat him in 2019? Uh, uh, we shared a lot of times in the, the ring. Together, I and Stichai. Of course, we are uh, great fighters. It was always uh, a war with each other. Still, now it's a, it's a war uh, uh, in us. Uh, I don't know. I'm, I'm looking forward. When the fight comes, it comes. I don't care. I don't care how many times I'm going to fight against him. I'm, I must beat everyone. Okay, it's difficult. It's it's, it's mildly a little bit hard, but uh, great fighters, they don't care about that, you know. I think only for to win. Some fighters prefer just to focus on themselves. Other fighters think more about the opponent. Do you agree that a great opponent will bring out the best in you? Is it important who's standing across from you? Uh, yeah, yeah. When it's a good opponent, uh, you are more sharp. You are more more excited to you to do more your best. Uh, sometimes uh, when you are a little bit confident, you make uh, some mistakes in a fight, and that will be dangerous sometimes. And uh, yeah, that's it. Will fans see the usual style and flair of Mara in one championship? You started off a little slow in your debut, but then the moment you started attacking, you started flying and it seemed like nothing would hold you back. Yeah, and uh, it was the first time in fighting in one championship. It was a bit weird to fight in a cage. It was a big cage. Uh, it was my first time, so I'm not ready for that. What does competing in the Grand Prix mean to you? You've won a couple of tournaments before. But do you see the one featherweight kickboxing World Grand Prix is the largest and the toughest of all? Yes, this is the toughest one. This is the, the biggest one, with the biggest names, and uh, I want to beat them all. Not looking past Andy Sauer, but who, in your opinion, is the most dangerous fighter in this tournament apart from yourself? You know, every fighter has his own dangerous skills. You can't compare because everyone is dangerous with his skills. It's a fight. Everything can happen. You know what I love in lightweight? It's, it's so many action. The the, there is a lot of sharpness. And uh, yes, like I told you, everything can happen in a fight. We must be sharp because it's a, it's a very high level that we fight. One second, one bling can will be end of a fight. So it's, it's a good tournament, really. Is it frustrating to constantly hear Giorgio Petrosian, your fellow countryman, referred to as the greatest kickboxer ever? Do you think that you're better than him? Uh, I respect him. Uh, he's a god in kickboxing. He did many good fights. He won a, a lot of uh, tournaments, a lot of fights. He beat the all fighters. Uh, of course, uh, every fighter feels that he's, he must to, he must to feel that he's the best. Understand? If you don't feel that, then you are in the wrong position. What is the connection like with Giorgio, you know, with the Armenian connection, with the fact that you're both kind of the kings of the sport? Uh, I asked him earlier, you know, does he feel like you guys are destined to fight? I think he really respects you, but, you know, if he said if it's going to happen, it's going to happen. How do you feel about it? Yeah, uh, we are both Armenians. 
we always talk, we are good friends with each other. And uh, it, uh, hopefully, it will, that fact will be not come, but uh, we will see what's going to happen in the future. What is it about Armenia that produces so many talented athletes, particularly martial artists? Armenia, Armenia country loves fighting. <laughs> And everyone looks to us and uh, yeah, they train, they do, they want to be like us. You've got a very important fight, of course, but how intrigued are you by Petrosian versus Superbon? What do you think of Superbon and how big of a test is he going to be for the doctor? Uh, Superbon is a good fighter. Really, yes, he's a good fighter. He's a tough opponent. I'm very excited about that fight. He's a dangerous, dangerous man, Superbon. That's it. And uh, Petrosian is, of course, the god. He's, uh, he's still uh, fighting good. He's sharp. Yeah. Very interesting. This fight for you against Andy Sauer, does it feel like the most important fight of your life at the moment? Now, on this, on the, on this moment, uh, yes. Because I want to win this tournament. You have an incredible self-belief when you go into the ring. Where does that come from? Because of hard work. And I believe in God. And God is always with me. So when God is with you, you, you don't need anyone. Kickboxing is one of the most exciting sports on the planet. How important is this event and what one championship is doing, bringing the best in the world? How important is it for the sport and to help spread the message of the sport? This tournament, for the kickboxing world, it will, it will show that this is a really great sport. Kickboxing is a really good Beautiful sport. Uh, I'm excited to, to, to show everyone what is about kickboxing, a high level kickboxing. So, all the fighters will show that. Some of the fighters in this tournament are from the golden age of kickboxing with K1, like Andy Sauer. You spoke earlier about how this is your time. Do you feel that this, your to this tournament and the fighters involved can? create a new era, a new golden era for kickboxing? This is the new era, of course. This is the golden era from now. Do you like the format of a Grand Prix? Yes, of course. How do you approach it differently to a normal one-off fight? That's the question, sorry. <laughs> do you approach a Grand Prix with any different mindset than you do for a one-off fight? I don't understand. Is, is, is the mentality any different when it's a Grand Prix than a one-off fight? Of course, it's of course the mentality. Is, it's 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 others. But first of all, you must win the fight, the first fight. You must to succeed the first. It's it's by step by step. You can't you can't you can think already about the final. No, like that it do, doesn't work. You must think about step by step. And like that, you will come there. Do you want to see more Grand Prix like this? Is this? how you like to decide the challenger for the title? Would you like to see one continue with the Grand Prix format? Yes, of course. It's a beautiful chance for, uh, for the all fighters. And everyone try, will do his best. I love tournaments, really. I love it. And uh, really, I, I was waiting for this tournament. So here it comes. I'm very excited, man. There's some cracking matchups on the card with Sidichai, you know, your, your old rival fighting Sami Sana, Enrico Kale. Which match uh, would you like to keep your eye on? I know you've got to focus on your own fight, but, but which match excites you the most? Uh, which match? The winner's match, I don't know. We're going to win, and I will look on that fight. What is the next one? Does it bother you at all if it's going to be a rematch for you in the next fight, or would you prefer to fight, face someone new? I don't care, actually. I don't care. It will be better if we match uh, in the final, if it, if it comes. But if it comes in the semi-final, I don't care. This is a, an historic night for kickboxing. I asked the same question to Giorgio. Uh, Tyson Fury fought Deontay Wilder on the weekend. That was one of the biggest nights in the history of boxing. Now you have one of the biggest nights maybe in the history of kickboxing. Does that inspire you? Yes, of course. I watched the fight with Tyson Fury and Wilder. It was an amazing fight, man. Two champions, two real champions, show what boxing is about. And uh, on the 15th September, the kickboxing stars will do, the, will, will do the same. Do you have a bucket list for your kickboxing career of things you want to accomplish? Now, on, now on the point, 
it's only this tournament. And what would it mean to you to be uh, the last man standing? Uh, everything now on this point, this tournament means uh, everything to me. Mara, it's been fantastic to speak to you. You're the man. We cannot wait to see you compete at the tournament. And it's been fantastic to have you join us. Have a great day.